Hi, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today we're going to be rebuilding the slingshots. These are the lower slingshots that are down by the flippers. Very easy. Three screws that hold it mounted to the field. Two screws that hold the, the plate. The coil pops out. We put in a sleeve in. And let's go. I already got one screw out because I just had to restart the video. So we're going to work on getting the other two screws out. These come out like everything else on this. It's basically held by three screws. And I need to get a, a longer shaft for my electric screwdriver. Since it's got such a fat body on it, I need to get a little longer shaft so I can get down into these tighter areas. And then that just pops up like that. Pretty cool, huh? And now we're gonna take the socket wrench and loosen it up. Get these screws loose. Take these little nuts off. Put them in a spot where we can see them. And keep an eye on them so they don't fall anywhere else. These pop out. There, there. This will come out like that. And then it will go right there next to them. Because I don't want to lose that again. I've lost three of them today on the play field. Two or three today on the play field. Right just in plain vision where I couldn't see them. And I don't know how I lost them. But they were like right smack there. I got to clean this off a little bit. Right smack there in front of me right in front of my eyes and they just blended into the play field and we're just straight out invisible using a little naphtha on my um blue shop towels so we'll get um clean get all dirt and everything off you want to see some grease, wait till um, you watch the flipper videos. Somebody greased them. I don't know why, but they greased them. They greased several contraptions on here that should never, ever see grease. Like the pop bumper assemblies. Those are greased. Um... Some of the stepper coils were greased. It's like they were stuck a little bit or just having a bad day. And they, they probably just sprayed it with a little um, WD-40. And don't get me started on WD-40 either. People swear by that stuff. I don't like it. I do not like WD-40. I use it for, um, like when I'm working on a car and I got a, a stuck, well, their bolts aren't stuck, but I'm ready to buzz them out and I know they're dirty and corroded and stuff. So I will spray some W40 on there just to get into the threads and help the bolts come out a little bit easier. That's about it. I don't consider it really a good lubricant. I consider it more of a, uh, an, I don't know, something you just use to temporarily get something free. It's a good just basic general oil, but I would never use that stuff to actually protect anything. You know, like if I needed to lubricate something forever, I would never use it. See that goes like that. And we forgot to clean the switch. There's a switch down here. Right here. And that, that's what gives you your points. We're going to go in there. 
we're going to pull up on it a little bit because when the slingshot pulls up it hits the switch and by doing that we're creating a little tension on the switch enough where both ends clean together my dog's barking like crazy I don't know why okay I should have named my dog Bob because he's a barker but I'm bump anyways he's a good dog he's got issues he is a rescue dog and he came from Tennessee so he just hangs around a lot sleeps like 25 hours a day and um, I don't know he's a good dog can't say nothing real bad about him he's got issues though very protective um, he's really protective of my wife and daughter not so much of me or my son, but mainly my wife and daughter. I can't even go near them sometimes and he'll growl and want to attack me. Oh, is that thing smooth. Smooth and beautiful. And always, there we go. I do that on everything I've done. That way if I stop now and I came back a day later, or whatever um, I can look at it and be like that's finished so I have two more things to do I gotta rebuild this flipper and this ball kick out assembly right here that you can't see yet but you will see because it's gonna be on video all right that's it for now and that's how you replace the coil sleeve on a slingshot very easy I feel it's one of the most easiest basic things you can do. So give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Mark's Basement Arcade. Subscribe and like our videos. Thank you and have a good day.